Hey everybody, Lake Fusion Aquariums here, coming to you with another quick species video, just basic info on here. And uh, I think these videos are a lot of fun to make, so let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy. This is about the Golden Wonder Keely Fish, aka the Striped Panchex Keely Fish. These guys are amazing. I have kept them years ago. I don't currently keep them, but I had them for many years and they were a lot of fun and they're super colorful and it's just a really cool fish that's always active at the top of your tank swimming around darting across the water almost like a skipping stone but one of the coolest things about the fish that i find very interesting is the relationship that they have with their uh, females the males and females have and i think it's just really cool it's like a you know a cute high school relationship basically they're always together they're always cuddling around each other and just swimming around the tank exploring the tank together they'll go the, to the bottom of the tank they'll go to the top of the tank mainly but they will just explore the tank on a little date all the time uh very easy fish to keep really basic stuff when you're looking at water parameters uh they like the neutral ph so 7.0 is going to be your best bet on them but mine personally did okay in 7.5 almost 8.0 ph so uh they're pretty straightforward they're pretty hardy they can kind of handle anything it seemed there are a couple big red flags on this fish that I learned the hard way. Now, first off, their mouths are shaped like a whale shark. With a whale shark sized mouth, um, these guys can kind of eat smaller fish in your aquarium. That's one lesson I learned the hard way. My, when I first got my Golden Wonder Keeley fish, I had a video of it somewhere. I've lost it by now though. Um, my Golden Wonder Keeley fish actually ate a Rummy nose tetra, and I came home and the tail was sticking out of its mouth. The rummy nose tetra actually was a pretty decently sized fish, and the golden wonder was only in the tank for a couple days. So I learned that the hard way. But that's how we learn these things. You just kind of have to see it to believe it sometimes. Um, he, they will go after small fish. They will eat them. Uh, if they can fit it in their mouth, they will. Even if it looks like it might not fit in their mouth, it might actually fit in their mouth. So just watch out for that. The biggest red flag with these fish is they are basically birds. These fly out of aquariums, and it is pretty frequent that they will do this. I lost, unfortunately, both of my Keeley fish this way years ago, and my tank did have a lid on it. If you have a small hole on your aquarium, even like the size of a quarter, they may actually jump out of that, and that's exactly what happened to me. My aquarium was super secure because I knew they were flyers, and um, they jumped out anyway, and I found them all dried up, little fish jerky on the ground uh, days later. I thought um, they may have died or something like that, or other fish might have just munched on them. I had pretty large plecos at the time, and I thought their bodies were just gone. But I did end up finding both of them under the tank. I noticed that they actually, when they lose their significant other, the lifespan on the other fish gets tremendously stressed out. So if you do happen to lose one, of the sexes, I would replace them pretty quickly um, in order to stop the fish from uh, freaking out in some sort of way, because that seems to be what happened with mine and others I've seen in the past. But other than those red flags, it's a really amazing fish. Truly, the color on this fish is stunning. It's like a neon yellow, green, and it kind of has everything in it, it looks like. Especially when the light hits it just right, you're going to love the fish. Uh, jungle val in aquariums are like long plants that are on the surface. They tend to like to hang out around. Um, it's just really cool to watch this fish at the top of the aquarium. In the wild, they like to jump out of the water and grab insects and everything. That's why you definitely want to have a lid with these guys, but um, that is kind of what they do. A cool thing you can do is you can feed them by hovering food over the tank with your fingers or some tweezers, and uh, they will jump out and actually grab it from your hand, but just be careful when doing that. Speaking of food, really, these guys are not picky. They will go after anything you put on the surface of the aquarium. They do like floating food a lot, so um, floating food is definitely going to be the best bet for them because that is just kind of what they're built for is surface feeding, and uh, so just, you know, try and feed that. But even sinking food they'll go after. I've seen it before. These guys, when it comes to tank size, I mean, I recommend keeping them in no 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 smaller than a 30 gallon. I looked up online and it said some people can keep them in 10 gallon aquariums, which you can probably keep them in those aquariums. The Keeley fish, the Golden Wonder Keeley fish that I actually kept got kind of big, especially the male. He was close to four inches and that in a 10 gallon aquarium just 
I don't know if I would see that being a right um, size. I, I, I don't know if I agree with that, but um, I, I would say a 30 gallon aquarium for a pair and you can have other types of tetras in there, dither fish, as long as they're big enough to not fit in their mouths. And I think you'd have a really nice aquarium. I call this a part of the, the cake tier list when it comes to my fish uh, preferences. And when I say the, t the cake tier list, it's um, you have layers in your aquarium. So you have fish that are on the top layer of the tank, which is the top of your tank the middle section of your tank and the bottom section of your tank and that all looks like a cake when it comes to the layers so you have your bottom dwellers your mid dwellers and your top dwellers and that's how you can kind of evenly layer out your aquarium with activity of fish and these guys are a perfect fish to be your top layer um, so really awesome fish they're really cheap too you can pick these guys up for I think I got mine for like seven dollars I want to say for a stunning male and uh, you know, a lot of times people don't see these fish. They're always floating at the top of an aquarium in a store. So just uh, be mindful that they're in there. But you definitely want to get a male and a female. I wouldn't recommend just getting one. I recommend pairing them up all the time. You can go to your local fish store and ask for a male and a female. And uh, the, they should have no problem getting that fish into you if they do custom orders there. The uh, male and the female are very easy to actually tell apart. I mean, the male is incredibly colorful. He basically has all the color. And the female is a lot smaller, and she also just has kind of a little bit of color, but nothing like the male. Um, more so a gray, a kind of a gray look to her. But um, she will give off a little bit of color the more you look at her. She is beautiful in her own way. But the male definitely holds the uh, the the prize for the more color of the two of them. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Really awesome fish. I love this fish. Super fun to keep. Learn a lot from them. Just be careful about some of the things I mentioned about them. And you should have an awesome fish that is just really going to uh, take you by surprise when it comes to how active they are and how colorful they are. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you so much for clicking on it and watching it. I hope you learned something about it. If you want more advanced videos on these fish, I don't know much about breeding, but I heard they're very easy fish to breed. Um, you should have, you check out some other videos out there about breeding these fish, because I personally don't know much about it at all. So, but again, thank you so much for watching my video. Leave a comment, and you can hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you again, and I hope you guys have a good rest of the day.